Hello everyone! In this video, you will see Johnny Blaze explain the reason why she went missing for a couple of days. Let's take a look at this video. The remarks... <laughs> the remarks and the bashing um, I didn't do this for attention. I'm talented. I got so many things to be thankful for, but so many things that be feeling like demons I'm fighting. I didn't call nobody because I didn't want to be found. I didn't speak to nobody because I didn't want to speak to nobody. I suffer from depression. I do not want nobody to ever feel sorry for me. People want to know so bad. Y'all want to know so bad, I'm going to give it to you one time and one time only. I have a mother right now that is suing me. Telling me that I need to tell the world that I never got raped. Okay. I've paid for divorce. And I'm not even supposed to be talking about this because I'm being sued right now. <laughs> I have paid for divorce from her, from this man. I have sent money over and over and over again to make sure she is okay. I have shaved my head three times, two of the times I felt like I was lied to about her having cancer. I have done everything possible after a, a, a child gets sent away for, a, for telling that her stepfather molested her. So I've been dealing with that since January, okay? And I have not said nothing at all. I have said nothing i've said nothing about it <laughs> that's one since everybody wants to know so much about me so my grandmother died june 7th we all know that i talk about my mental health we all know that i talk about my depression we know that i fully talk about my anxiety because i'm it's not something i'm proud of but it is a part of me it's been a part of me since I was a child and I fight with it. I have not took my medication since my, since right before my grandmother started getting really bad, which is around February. Okay. Since y'all want to know so much. So now you can take my words and put the right things out to the world because some of the shit that I see and you wonder why you wonder why people want to detach themselves. You wonder why my grandmother died June 7th, June 10th. I still had to fly to Miami and do three music videos. <sighs> Smile at people's faces like this shit cool. Go to a funeral on the 19th. And another person dies after that. Y'all talk about some old she you know she be faking pregnancies and stuff you want to know something else you want to know why every time you see me put up a pregnancy test when i was in a relationship and then you don't see it no more because it is difficult for me to have children and i've stated this before so i'm sorry that i get excited and i and i decide to post something and then it doesn't happen my bad for that which I shouldn't even feel bad for. Help me understand that. I am battling with so much fighting yourself to the point I couldn't fight no more. So when I posted that, I don't know how to sugarcoat. I've always been this hood, cheerful, tell it like it is type of person. 
You know, you couldn't catch me a couple of years being able to even talk like this without screaming and, you know, being extra. I'm about as calm as a whistle. You feel me? And tears, is, and it's okay. I am not upset because, because I had a breaking point. The other thing I want to say and my growth is putting me in position to talk this way and be able to and be able to express this but Meezy Meezy whatever you want to call yourself Mega Meezy that post that you made to Hollywood Unlocked when all of my close friends don't even know you like that. And you're supposed to be my friend. I have walked Stone Mountain with you on some spiritual stuff because we both suffer depression. I call you as a friend sometimes at night crying or texting you. We talk together and everything. You talk about some because of through OnlyFans. When I was sitting here, you didn't see me post on social media. My OnlyFans is a schedule. It's scheduled to always post. After three days of so-called everybody saying that I wasn't, that I wasn't here or whatever that y'all were saying, I went on there and I seen some things that of my ex was saying, and I got mad and sent out my response through OnlyFans. That does not mean that I am not going through things or an attention seeker. Now, see, I want to go all the way in, but I'm not going to do that to you. I just know that from here on out, me and you are no longer friends because even when your friend had cancer, Cortez, I was the one that used to run 40 minutes to his house to force him to take black seed oil. And he's cancer free right now. I was the one that did that. I was the one that would call you and ask you, are you depressed? But you won't tell these people that you don't really speak to me like that. You tried to date me. And when I finally tried to go on a date with you years ago, you stood me up and left me in a club while you was drunk at a strip club and you apologize you said how can I be your friend I said you know we could just be cool I don't I don't want to talk to you and ever since then we had spiritual moments about depression and anxiety and you go on a blog dude you go on a blog you go on a blog and you talk about me I'm not going to answer anybody's questions. And the thing with my 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 ex or whatever y'all want to laugh about with with no Let me tell you something. That that man has done nothing wrong to me. All right? It's never have. So I see everything. I literally, and this is why I don't like being on social media. I've seen everything. He's done nothing but put so much time and dealing with me as his girlfriend with mental issues that sometimes people give up, not because they don't care or not because they don't love you, but because they cannot fight for you harder than yourself. He's never put his hands on me. He don't even like arguing like that. Those screenshots of my text messages from weeks ago when me and him had a fight on social media, okay? And that picture is old and it's definitely not from him. So as a person of me caring enough for someone that's tried their best to help me, y'all can't do that to him. Everything that y'all want to talk about, everything that y'all want to bash me about, she's taking pregnancies, now you know about that. You talking about what I'm going through, you know about that. You know everything that y'all need to know. There's nothing wrong with feeling like you don't want to be here sometimes. There's nothing wrong with fucking taking breaks. 
There's nothing wrong with sometimes you don't want to smile. I smile for everybody around me but me. I can't. So, there you go. I don't know what y'all want from me, but I have nothing to say or prove to anybody no more. It's so much fucking bullying to the point I don't even understand no more. And I just don't care. I do not care about what people say about me. Of course my ex is going to be upset. I dog walked his ass. Like, I talked about him. Of course he's going to be upset. Who cares? Y'all sit here and tell me about things that I just don't care about. I don't. It's so much. And y'all just don't care. And I don't expect y'all to. But now y'all can just leave it alone. And just, just let me be at peace. Let me get myself, my happiness together. I never knew that me wanting to be away, me wanting to be away from stuff, caused people to hate me more and say the most disgusting things to me. I don't understand that. So y'all got that. Y'all got that. I shouldn't even have to come on here and explain because of the person I am. This whole entire fucking week, all I felt like was not being Johnny, not being Japelle, not being myself. I wanted to be everything else but that person. And then you wonder why because of this. Y'all laugh at somebody that can't hold kids. You laugh at somebody because of this. You laugh at somebody. It's, it's, I can't. And I won't be speaking to a lot of people. Y'all talking about a filter. Th this is crazy. Like, because I put a filter on. You want me without a filter? Here, look. You want to see? Look. Look. What's the difference? What is the difference? Of bullying somebody. What is the difference? I don't understand. And this is why I'm still not going to come back on here. I'm not. I'm cool with that. I don't care about what others feel. So, I'm cool with that. Well, there you have it. You heard it straight from her mouth. She is not beaten up. She didn't commit suicide. She is just tired. And we all know how that feels. If you want to see more videos, don't forget to comment, like, subscribe, and hit that bell. Thanks for watching, and until next time, bye-bye!